listeners are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans. New Orleans Talk Network. It's today's hottest topics with an added flair. You get ready because the conversation will be hot and better yet mobile. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app available on Android, iPhone, iPad, and you can listen to us on the web at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. Write down our talk line at 504-341-TALK. That's 504-341-8255. Interactive and worldwide, that's what we are. Join in on the real conversation and tell a friend about the New Orleans Talk Network. Hi, I'm Sheriff Joe Lapinto, and you are watching the New Orleans Talk Network. It's Bob B's Variety Hour. It's the third Wednesday of the month. Normally we would be doing Chef's Chat Worldwide, but whenever we have a holiday, just like 4th of July eliminated the U USA Chef, it's difficult to get the people to, uh, the chefs to, uh, especially long distance. However, we've been wanting to do this particular artist review section since before we started. Uh, and as things would happen, uh, the artist himself is in India, you know, where India is. And uh, part of the deal is that all of them are time differentials, whether it's a chef, chef or an artist. India is not only 10 hours ahead of us, it's 10 and one half hours. They're not on the same schedule as us. So it, it makes it difficult. Anyway, it's been very trying to coordinate the times because we really do want this young artist to appear. Um, we learned with uh, problems why he wasn't on earlier is there's a lot of connectivity problems coming out of India with regard to any kind of source of sending things out. So we finally been able to establish a contact but orderly only. In other words, we were going to not be seeing the artist live this morning. Uh, we were going to see a picture of himself, which is fine, and but he would be talking to us live, at least via the uh, uh, video chat service. Um, for some reason, uh, we have not heard from him yet. And I told him if there was problems, I would go ahead and conduct the show rather than show something else uh, because we know it is a problematic situation. Uh, we're really pleased. There's a gentleman, and his name is Vankatesh Buhapti. Now, of course, that's a lot, almost as bad as my name, but we go, he goes by Van, so we can use that and then we, as we refer to him, whether we're speaking live or not to him. Um, we do want to spend some time in the hopes that he will be able to make connection, uh, explaining the difference. Today is not only... Um, our artist review show, but this is going to be the first one that we will actually start selling. We did a little bit before, but it was mainly left on you to call the artist and work out the situation. This particular artist is a digital artist. Now, what does that mean? Digital art is really the art of the future and the present. Just like uh, computers took over from... Uh, uh, cell phones took over from regular phones and computers took over from whatever we did. Uh, online presence is there everywhere, whether you're speaking, whether you're looking, whether you're writing. So there are artists now, and especially, as you know, even our young children are so gifted with regard to from playing these games to actually creating. It's been able to bring out creativity in people who've never really had the chance, whether it's because of not having being able to go to a art school or whatever. So it's a it's a wonderful opportunity. And because of that, uh, just like in the beginning, photographs was never considered real art. It was only oil paintings and then the other types of media. But even today, photographs are some, by some people not even considered real art. 
Uh, well, digital online has always been, since it started, been having that same kind of uh, viewpoint. But it's a shame because the quality of the art that artists, as the one today, as Vad does, is phenomenal. Now, what we want to do, though, is besides letting you see the pieces we've selected today here, you will see those pictures because we screened those in advance and loaded them up. Uh, we will also going to tell you how you could, if you want any, to buy. What's good about these is that online digital art allows you to have standard pricing, whereas, you know, when you go to a regular gallery or a, or a thing, it's a lot of different things, okay? Here's the difference. He, there are three ways that you can buy a piece of digital art, at least through us. One is to, uh, you'll see the picture that, you, that hopefully you'll like on the screen. We will tell you the number of it and the title of it is that in case you want to order it. Uh, you, our phone numbers have changed, so I'm not even publishing it. You can text us online, uh, and that would be the best way. Mike will uh, tell us what you want. Notice on the screen, Mike's put up. If you want to buy something, you will have to, for this show only, and I don't mean just to this morning, the repeats of this show, for this first episode of, of merchandising, you will have to issue a personal or cashier's check uh, to myself at the address shown above. It's 1830 Jenna Street, and you just have to put Jenna, New Orleans, Louisiana, 70115. And notice there are three prices, three standard prices. Okay, the um, first price, which I thought said, uh, my eyes are looking back, it, it should be $20. I, I know. Uh, the um, first price will be the price that you, uh, again, uh, I'm not sure if I've got correct information on the screen here with regard to pricing. Uh, my eyes are all bad. The first price, the $20 price, is for the price of getting a print on paper. So if you see any of the 19 pictures or more that you want, you identify them by the number because it's going to be in sequence and it may be a description. And you will send a check to those addresses, to either, that address at least, for either $20 and you'll get one in paper. If you want it on can, stretched canvas, it would be $50. Makes it even nicer. Or if you really want the original, it's $100. Well, you say, Bob, how is that going to happen? I mean, if I pay $100, how come someone else isn't going to take it offline? Well, because the artist is going to redo it, and the ones online have what we call, I'm calling a watermark. He calls a sign. And what that does is, if they would try to do it, it's going to have that watermark across the front, of the, front across the painting, which will not only destroy the look, but also the value. So you will also get a certificate of authenticity that the $100 digital pick is unique, just like you would buy a single oil painting, etc. It will not be done. If someone else would want it after you, he will recreate it and do it in either different shades or other variations to make it different from you. Okay, now, the, those are the three things. So remember, uh, you can text in the mic and tell him anyone as we're going along that you want and which way you want, whether you want to print, whether you want canvas, or whether you want the digital. All right, now we understand Van is on the line. Let's see if we can get him on. And again, if we have problems, folks, please excuse. One, one is, of course, the uh, reliability of the connection, and also, of course, we have different accents. He, he does as well as we do, so we got to bear with him. Okay, good morning, Van. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Excellent. Finally, finally we get to hear you, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first qu most important question that people would like to know is, Van, how did you get interested in art and, and digital art specifically? Actually, from my childhood, uh, I started my art. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm more interested in uh, uh, trying out arts in all the forms. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, I started from pencil drawing, then painting, watercolors. Okay. I know. Yeah. And I... I'll do glass painting. Glass too. I know. And you... now, uh, now I'm doing my digital arts. 
Right. I know that's what you told me, that you did have some things in the traditional, whether it was, uh, you know, a paint, a painting or, even, like I say, glass, I didn't know. But you had, you had been working with different media until you find your home, and your home is in the digital art market. Is that correct? Yeah, right. Excellent. Well, we do appreciate you coming. Just for, just for the people who know, what time are you showing there in, in India? Now time here is uh, 6.45. 6.45 this evening. So it's Wednesday evening, but it's already 6.45. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, where it's only 10 minutes after 8. So you see there's a vast disparity. That's what's been hard coordinating this because of his normal work schedules, etc., and sleep schedules and hours. But we've got it together. Now, I don't know, did you hear the beginning of the show when I was saying how we're going to do about the selling of any pieces that someone would want? Did you under, Did you hear what I said? Van? Yeah. You heard. Okay. Well, then what we're going to do is we have to take a morning break, uh, two minutes for commercials. When we come back... Okay, we're, thanks. I'm sorry? Okay. Okay. We're going to take a break for two minutes. When we come back, we're going to start with the very first picture. And I want you to tell us about it, and we're going to say uh, what the number is and, and how much it'll be again for the first few times so they get used to it, okay? So stay with us, folks. Okay, fine. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. See you right now. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Rhonda M. Lawson. And can you believe that it has been one year since Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions hit your airwaves? We have interviewed authors, entrepreneurs, playwrights, musicians, and everyone in between, all to bring you the best in literary conversation. And we plan to do it again this year, but only better. So join us right here in the Literary Lounge each Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time right here on the New Orleans Talk Network. See you there. Hi, I'm Prophetess Charlene Duforce. And I'm Bishop Carol Duforce Sr. And we're from Living Witnesses Ministries. And we also uh, have a program on, on the internet uh, called Living by the Word Daily. And we're seen every Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon Central Time on the New Orleans Talk Network. And we would like to invite you to tune in with us every Wednesday morning again 11 to 12 noon, Central Daylight Time. Please join us as we teach the Word of God. Thank you, and God bless. God bless you. We are back. Talk What You Know returns on Wednesday mornings at 8 a.m. We got a brand new co-host by the name of Bob B. And hey, that's me. Also, we got some new features. We're going to be giving away have a weekly raffle of prizes. Uh, there are multiple ways for you to win, and there's a bevy of prizes. So we need you to come on back, join us on Wednesday mornings at 8 o'clock for Talk What You Know on the New Orleans Talk Network. Well, there we are, folks. That's our catchy sound, and that's telling you, as it goes down, uh, that we're doing an episode of Artist Review, whereby we bring you, for the most part, we've brought you local artists. Today's our first venture out way, way far. We went to the extreme of India instead of trying some of the local ones. And with it comes some of the problems, as we mentioned, with regard to connectivity. Unfortunately, you can't see our young artist, but you are hearing him, and he's going to help us out. But now what we're going to do, as I mentioned, is we're going to start through the, we've got like 19, so we're going to try and whip our way through this because we have one more break. We will tell you the number, because that's important, the number, and we'll remind you for a little bit the prices, because the prices are the same whether you buy number one through number 20. 
And all you have to do is remember that address. So you, if you, you had to write it down or somehow keep referring to it. Uh, you text in the mic and tell him which, if you're interested, which number and if you can describe it even better and whether you want it at the $20 charge, the print, the $50 charge, which is the canvas, or the $100 exclusive digital pick. All right? All right, Mike, let's go ahead and take a look at our first piece. Ah, you couldn't get more colorful. My, uh, Van, will you tell us a little bit about what this looks like, mother and daughter, is that correct, or mother and child? Yeah, actually, it is a mother and daughter uh art which i done for mother's day ah uh, mother's day how perfect you couldn't get and yeah. so and so colorful you have just such dynamic colors sometimes more dynamic than you can see in real uh in in other types of medium so it's really beautiful so mother and child all right yeah. folks that is number yeah. one okay anything else you want to say yeah. about it yeah okay all right uh, well, that's uh mother mother who gives us the colors all the colors in our life so i give them more colors than that i got it i got it okay so if you would like the mother's day it's not it's not too late it's i mean i know the, the day's over it but have a permanent remembrance of a mom and her child what better way than this beautiful piece yeah. so again you can uh, yeah. remember it's only twenty dollars if you want to print on paper $50 if you'd like it on stretch canvas, or $100 if you, if you want that unique cell. Okay, let's move on to number two, so as we're going, because we still got 18 more. Okay, how about this one? This is another interesting one. What, what can you tell us about this van? Uh, uh, actually, it is a flora, right? I'm sorry? Uh, what uh, art is that, actually? Actually, I can't see it. So you say the title. Okay, but so I can explain. But I thought you have all the pictures. Remember, you have pictures there in the order. I, I, Actually, I'm using my phone. I don't have. Okay. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, then I'll just yeah. have to describe. This is. It appears as a a, per, a shadow. What I'm calling a silhouette of a person, just like we saw the mom, and beautiful pictures of flowers. I don't know if that's roses. I got to get my my magnifying glass out to see this. Uh, it's, it's called oh flora. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, very, yeah. right. I right. Because flora. there's so many flowers. Right. Because there's so many flowers yeah. at the bottom and the tops. Anything else you want to say about it? Actually, uh, she's collecting flowers from uh, sky to uh, make a dress. Ah, uh, to make a dress. Yeah. Okay, very pretty. So the lady's collecting the flowers and uh, so she can make a dress. So that's number two. Remember, it's called Flora, if you can remember the title. And again, it would be $20, $50, or 100 depending on what mode. And you've got to just send it to uh, that app. But before you worry about making a check, text in the mic to tell us which one of these you'd love to have. All right, let's look at number three. And let's see what we got for that one. Okay. Ah, oh, this is one of my favorites. Um, this is the colors on it. And here's something we're going to point out. We're going to show a little later side by side. What's really unique about digital art is that you can take the painting itself uh, that you've done, when I call it the painting, the pictures, the drawing, whatever, illustration, and you can project it on a background. So that way you can see, not necessarily in your home, but how it looks on a wall in a normal setting, whether it's an office, whether it's a sitting room, etc. And uh, this one is done two ways. But what's good about it, like I say, is you can get it either the original print, which we're seeing here, uh, waiting for a title, I don't know if we do it, and then, uh, or you can also see the full thing, but it's in a background above a sofa, etc. And you can get either one. Well, most people say, well, I want the original print. I don't want the, the background. But it's called Nature in Purple. Very nice. And so you can see it's beautiful white trees. I guess like snow with a magnificent purple background. Really, really pretty. So uh, this is something. And again, you can get it just like this. Or later on, uh, you can see how we can also put it in another framework 
to make it look like uh, the artist had painted the, a picture of the picture hanging in someone's home, etc. Okay, folks, that was number three. Purple, hey, Bob, just call it purple. Know Nature of purple. Bought this painting? I'm sorry? Did they know someone has bought this painting? Someone has bought it. Wow, thank good. Tell us a little bit about this. Mike, this is Mike, everyone, from our staff here. What we got, Mike? Uh, uh, a caller named Greg, Gregory, has bought this painting. And how is he getting it? As a print? I, I'm almost sure probably as a print. If he didn't tell you, we will clarify it later. Yes. But so, so, so number three is sold. That doesn't mean you can't get another copy. So you just like when you get a poster made or something, you get multiple prints. For a print, uh, we can make it. Uh, the artist can make as many as people want. But what's good about it, if no one else buys this besides Gregory, he's really got a like a, uh, like an original print. Let's call it that, because it'll be one of one. So until somebody buys another, his remains as a unique piece of art, because it's only one print that that we saw there again later on we're not just remember you can buy anything of this as long as the artist will continue to do it so even though uh we'll be off the air this runs many times you can tell your friends to see it if they want to buy any of these watch the show and then send us the desired format that you want with the check and we will crank it out now, the check has to be received before the artist will commit to do the work. So that's the only thing. We can't send it out first. We've got to have received for the funds that no need to go to him. Okay, so Nature in Purple number three has been sold to Gregory. All right, let's see number four, please. Okay, what do we have here? I ah, this is interesting. Um, I believe these are like lovebirds. Is that right? Van, can you see uh, some kind of bird? Yeah, lovebirds, that's the title. You want to tell us about this? Uh, actually, what's the title? Love Birds. Yeah, actually, uh, it is a concept like uh, 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 to show our love. It can be uh, hanged in our uh, bedroom like that, na? So it, it shows our intimacy of love. Okay. Go ahead. Anything else? Uh, uh, to show the care of each other, like. Sure. Well, it's amazing because, uh, you know, of course, we use the term in America, lovebirds, usually applying only to humans, all right? But we know that all animals have love in different formats. And this is trying to, as far as I see, it looks like this is expressing human love, type love, the way that wrapping each other's arms around or feathers around each other uh, in an embrace that normally you would uh, attribute to humans. So it's really beautifully done, color's very nice, and uh, there's also two versions of this, the one we're looking at now or one that's actually set up on a wall, framed on a wall, and, and we're not having that one today. But if you ever want to see it, uh, if you decide you want this painting but you want to see it in both formats, we'll certainly provide it to you. Okay. Again, as we said before, this is number four, Lovebirds. You can buy it for $20, print, paper print, $50 canvas, $100 for unique sell. All right, let's see number five. Let's move on. Okay. Wow. This is great colors on this one. Now, this is a, a beauty. Do we have a, is that called Angel? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, I think that's what... Mike's typed up there, but this is magnificent colors. Look at the blues and the yellows. Can you tell us, Van, Van something about Angel? Yeah, it is a combination which I made with blue. Blue and black. Uh -huh. uh, Go ahead. Uh, with, which, uh, I made it of, uh, which uh, suits the wall, wall of uh, uh, blue color. So I made it like that. Okay, so you said you made it very pretty, but uh, colors are so blue and so vivid, but you have some greens in there as well, huh? Or some formal yeah, green? Yeah, it's a combination of uh, blue texture uh, nice. all, together, all together, blue, green, and uh, black like this. Right, and again, a lovely lady's profile done in, done in the uh, ebony, just really pretty. So that's number five, and that's called Angel. All right, let's see number six, moving on. Yeah. 
I see number second, six. Bob, uh, someone named Larry has bought number five. Angel? Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, did you hear that, folks? Mike is sharing all the wisdom here. Someone, uh, and if you read the comments, if you're following us on the uh, one of the different uh, YouTubes or the uh, home radio, you'll see the comments. So Mike has just told us on the comment and also live here that uh, a gentleman named Larry has bought number five uh, angel in print. Okay, so we got two down. Very good, very good, excellent. Looking forward to it with these beautiful colors. Let's take a look at number six. Okay. Oh wow! Again, we got the vivid colors here. What do we call this one? Do we know, uh, Mike? Colors, just colors. Okay. This is a series of what I would consider, if you know the artist Mondrian, where he does different shapes, geometric shapes, mainly um, uh, linear, um, vertical situations. This is all different shapes, like combination frames, but all very uh, blocky, done in multiple colors with, again, another lovely young lady in the center. Tell us a little bit about this one, Van, please. Colors. Uh, yeah, actually, it is like... Uh Showing the all all colors together, I thought of to make it make that art. Right. So you got all the prime colors: the reds, the yellows, the blues, the green, purple. So you try to put yeah. a lot of the colors together, uh, huh? By, by seeing that, by, by seeing that, we will get some uh, good feel, like uh, colorful. Uh, we will get uh, thoughts also will be colorful. So that. I think you did a beautiful job on it. Very pretty. All right, and the next one I think would be number seven. Is that where we are, Mike? Oh, okay, number seven. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. Is this a peacock? What is this? Again, my eyes are so bad. Let's see if Mike's going to... Is there a name on this one? Yeah, peacock. It is a national bird of India. So oh, I, no. I thought of... Oh, yeah, but this is... What's unique about this, it has the Eiffel Tower. So is this the same one you're talking about? Is that a peacock uh, in it? Or is it uh, there's no name on it, but it's... Peacock, it has, right? It has the Eiffel Tower in it. Yeah. it. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's a peacock. I made a mistake. One second. So can you, tell, second, can you tell us about the Eiffel Tower with flowers and trees, landscape? Van? One second. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. One second. There's no title. It has the Eiffel Tower in the center in the background. Yeah. Okay. Well, again, an artist has to remember all those. So that's number seven. We're just going to call it an Eiffel Tower, but those who are interested in France always recognize that. And it's done in a unique way here because there's so much landscaping. Usually you see it in like an almost an open area because it's in a plaza with the uh, buildings and all around the side. So this is a very colorful one, but uh, maybe not as accurate as you would see in other versions of it, but at the same time. Yeah, actually, uh, Bob, 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 sorry to interrupt. Actually, no? it is a Eiffel Tower I tried with nature and combination of Eiffel Tower. That's okay. So it's a combination of Eiffel Tower and nature. That's what I say. You usually don't have the nature. Yeah, yeah. You usually, in most of the paintings and, and real-life photographs, you really don't have as much nature visualized. So that makes it even more interesting. It looks like it's growing up in a, in a totally natural landscape, which, of course, in reality, it's not. So it's a very nice twist on reality. All right, that was number seven. Let's go. Was that number seven, Mike? Uh, actually, no. what? seven is uh, low birds again, and it uh, shows the... Intimacy of love. All right, let, let's go on. Mike, will you show it? All right, what is it, Mike? This is called what? No name. Uh, there are some bluebirds or something, huh? Lo love birds? Yeah, yeah. It is, a, it is also love birds. There's like. a pair of bluebirds. Okay, anything? Yeah. And then some hearts. Is that hearts? Yeah. Pretty bluebirds on a branch yeah. and some flying hearts. Anything you want to say about this? A nice... A nice ochre background with those vibrant blue birds for people who like the blue birds. Anything about that at all you want to point? Actually, it is a try with uh, colorful arts. 
it's an it's it's a symbol of love, right? So that. Oh, okay. So once again, you bring the love in it with regard to the hearts. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So that was number seven, the bluebirds, huh? Is there any activity on that, Mike? Yes. Uh, yes, Bob. Someone yes. has bought number eight, which was the, the uh, bluebirds. Okay. I thought it was number eight, but he said seven. So this is number eight? Yes, correct. And, and someone has bought it, or her name was Someone's Paula? bought this one as well? Paula. Uh -huh. Paula. Oh, Paula's a very good, uh, Van Paula's a very good fan of the show. She's devoted to all of our shows and real good friend. And she's bought it. In fact, it's I nice know. nice to you. What's that? What was that? Uh, nice to hear. Y yes. All are liking my art. So. And I know she's liking this particular piece for her mom. Her mom, uh, June, oh, I'll give her nice. name, loves bluebirds. So that's going to be perfect for her oh, room. Very nice. Be perfect for her room. So that's great. Okay. She's getting it. Okay. Let's move on to number nine. What, what's number nine, as uh, John Lennon would say? Okay, what is that we got, Mike? Uh, I can't see it. Beautiful colors. I mean, Actually, it is a glass painting. Well, this is on glass? Yeah. Let me go to my copies, let's see. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, what can you tell us about it if you know it's glass? Is there a title? Uh, yeah, actually, it is also I. It just says glass a art. Colorful flowers. I, glass art. What is it? A yeah, I made it uh, with color. It is a glass art. Uh, I showed the colorful flowers there. Is this is is the painting correctly? Is it should be like this vertical or should it be on the side? Is this the correct way? Actually, it is a horizontal painting. So we really should turn it to its side. Yeah. And so and once again, I'm, I'm I'm not seeing what it is. It's beautiful, but it's a painting of what? Actually, I made it on glass. It is a glass painting. Uh huh. But what I'm saying, what is the subject? What is the topic on the glass? The subject actually, I just showed the colorful flowers, that's it. Just flowers. Okay. Yeah, flowers. Colorful flowers. Okay, that's number, what was that, eight or nine there, Mike? That was number eight? That was number nine. That was number nine. That's right, sorry. Okay, let's take a look. What's at number ten? All right. This one I'm looking at is, a, again, another lovely young lady, beautiful subject, and she's got, I don't know, she's out there with the hearts again and flowers. Tell us. Is hearts, there, flowers, and lady. What kind of flower, what? Yeah, flowers, heart, and lady. Okay. Combination of Flower, all, all three. Yeah. All three, flowers, heart, and lady. Done in beautiful, of course, we've got the beautiful onyx shade of the, the lady's uh, portrait. We, we've got magnificent uh, creams, some um, pinks, uh, some different shades of pink, light, medium, in both the hearts and the flowers. So again, this is a, a, a beautiful rendition, and depending on what your, either your home or your office. Or, again, these are great paintings, even though you can see there's some, in, most, in a lot of these, there's the Indian inspiration uh, and maybe the subject matter in some of the... Um, Guess what, Bob? What's that? Uh, someone has bought this painting too as well. Number. This is number 10? Uh-huh. And... Uh, uh, Robert? Uh, Robert has bought this? Yes, sir. Okay, a print. So, wow, this is great. So, someone else... I'm Bob, and I appreciate this, and Robert does as well. So, thank you, Robert. I know Van does. That's great. All right, let's see uh, what we got for number... What would be number 11? And then we're going to take our break. Do we have an 11? Okay. Oh, this looks like some type of bamboo or something. Let's see if I can get a close-up of it for my weak eyes. Huh? Yeah, actually it is a golden bamboo. Golden bamboo. Now, is that a type of bamboo? Yeah. Is that a type of bamboo or just in your head it's golden? 
Actually, it is an aged bamboo, I think. So. I got it. And is that the Eiffel Tower right in front again? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, uh, actually, uh, in front of the art, I kept uh, I kept the art piece of Eiffel Tower. Okay, so you really like Paris, huh? Uh, art is only bamboo. I got it. I got it. Anyway, okay, so uh, yeah. to me, there's the Eiffel Tower and the Mag Golden, the golden bamboo is really beautiful. The colors there, so that can go with a lot of decors, not just uh, not so much the antiques, but I think a lot of contemporary or even like a, if you had a bar at home, it would be a great look, great, great look. Okay, that was number eleven. Is that right? And number twelve. Now number twelve is right before we go to break. Uh, we got that one. Number twelve is just. A, another picture of you, the artist. That we're talking to, Venkatesh Bohapit, um, and he's calling all the way from India. He's a digital artist. We've seen uh, twelve or eleven of his fantastic pieces. Uh, we're showing you a few more. And look, he's uh, digitally wrapped his, as a frame with him in the center. Uh, and you can see some of the other pieces. Now, these one or two of these might be on the show, but most of these are not. But what we're going to do is we're going to take our second last break and then we're going to come back and revisit before we go on. We're going to revisit the pricing. So if you want to order what you have to do, if you want to order any of these, uh, uh, we will um, get that information to you. Now the, so let's go ahead and take the second break and then we'll come back and go over those information only and then pick up where we left off. Listen up. Your customers, our listeners, could be hearing about your business right now. Yeah, right now. Don't miss out on the opportunity to advertise with NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. Call our business department today at 504-475-4793 to hear about our great rates. NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. We provide the people, you provide the business. Are you looking for a home to live stream your next event? Give us a call here at Bethesda Community Event Center, the only place on a golf course that can host and broadcast live your wedding reception, your baby shower, business seminar, and any other special event. Give us a call at 504-708-9454 for more details. Happy Merry Mondays. It's your girl, Mary J. I want you to tune in with me to Real Talk with Mary J on New Orleans Talk Network every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Then follow me to blogtalkradio.com slash Real Talk with Mary J at 10 p.m. It's going to be a Merry Monday every Monday at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. You've just tuned in to New Orleans Talk Network. Hi, I'm Sheriff Joe Lapinto, and you are watching the New Orleans Talk Network. Okay, welcome back with our catchy tune and our lovely new logo. All of our stuff's been done by Mike, and we'll turn that down a little bit. And we want to welcome you back. Uh, again, we're doing another version of Artist Review today. Not only are we doing ultra-long distance all the way to India, we also are doing some selling. So we're almost like the home shopping network for art. And I know there's a lot of art auctions I go to myself. So what we want to do is tell you how, if you decide you want a piece, what you have to do here, and then what you have to do to actually obtain it. First piece of thing is that you will have to text in because our phone's got a new phone number. It's too much to get information to date. So for today only, you will um, text in to Michael and tell him which. So you need to try your best to remember the number. We have up to 19 pieces. Okay. 
remember the number and perhaps put the subject with it, if you have bluebirds or whatever, just to make sure you've got the right piece. And then tell him what way you want it to be sent to you, whether you want a print, which is $20, a stretched canvas, which is fabulous, for $50, and a unique digital pick. And remember, each of these can be an exclusive one of a kind, depending on whether or not they sell any more of the first two issues. All right? And then you will lead to it uh, as soon as you can. Get a check, personal check or cash is check made out to Bob Bockham. It's a horrible last name, long name, sorry. 18, not horrible, it's mine. 1830 Jenna, J-E-N-A, New Orleans 70115. And as soon as your uh, checks have been processed, then the artist will release. Now, we are going to be doing the printing of the paper and also the stretch canvas here from New Orleans. So that'll expedite and the time won't cause you any uh, mailing charge. So we'll, we'll skip that. So it's real simple. But in the future, we're going to have uh, other modes of payment. We'll talk about that if we have any time. Right now, it's cashier's check or personal check only sent to the address. But don't hesitate to interrupt Mike on any one of these, either right after it happens or while it's happening, so that way you can get in on the action. Okay. Uh, welcome back, Van. Are you still there, bud? Yeah, I'm here. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, we're ready to move into number 13. And this is the peacock. I jumped ahead when I thought I saw it when we were looking at the Eiffel Tower. It is because it's similar colors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's similar colors. But tell us a little bit about your peacock. It's really a beautiful bird. Yeah, actually, it is a national bird. So I tried it. So that's the national bird of India? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I, if it's I did, the pride I tried of India. I got it. I got it. Well, I think you've done a beautiful yeah. rendition. Go ahead. Tell, any more you want to tell us about it? Yeah, that's it. Actually, I, I, I love peacock. So I do. So I do it. Now, is it supposedly on a piece of, or is it on the ground or is it on a branch? That's the part I couldn't understand. Is the peacock... Actually, it is on a tree, uh, standing in a tree trunk. On a tree trunk, huh? I think that's a yeah, very nice... Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's a very nice effect to make it more natural instead of uh, looking yeah. like an artificial bird. But again, beautiful colors of greens and blues and... Uh, some other additionals into it. It's just really, really a nice piece. So that is number 13. Just remember, say Peacock, available to you for $20, $50, or $100. All right, now the next one is a very unique. It's almost an abstract. Let's see, this will be number 14, I believe, huh? Um, what's that? Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it's in the mother's womb. Right. It's, uh, keep you, in mother's womb. I think you've got this is this this says so much. You've got a beautiful title to it. It's called Precious Place. And what place could be more precious than inside the mom before she gives birth? But you've done it in such a great with all the abstracts of all the circles and the different layers of color. Just magnificent. So th this is a piece that really speaks way beyond its frame or its size. Because it's talking about, once again, love, but the true maternal child love that will come out once this child actually is brought into life. And I think you hit it right on the nose by calling it a precious place. Okay, folks, that was number 14. Again, available for $20, $50, or $100. All right, let's move on to the next one. I really like this next one. I, I think it's a little bit of a departure of some of the other work you've done. And it's called something about... Um, uh, Arab, not Arab life, what was it called? Desert life, huh? Yes, desert yeah. life. Tell us a little bit about yeah. desert life. Yeah, Very... Go ahead. Yeah, I've shown uh, desert life of India. Indian women uh -huh. walking, in, walking now, in desert, collecting the water from the place and they're walking to their place. Like that. Yeah. So these are magnificent Indian ladies. Notice they're all in the primary color of their dress, red, yellow, green, or blue. And each one has yeah. um, water buckets or really probably terracotta jars 
I'm not sure what they're made out of, but maybe he would tell us, of water that they need to carry back to their village. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. And so this is interesting because you don't picture this as India so much, even though it is a, in certain parts of India, it's just a natural part of life, uh, carrying the water, water from the rivers or whatever and bringing it back home. So once again, that was, uh, uh, that would be number uh, 15, desert life, and the same price is 20, 50, and 100. All right? Got a, uh, I think we've got four or five more. Now, this next one is one of my favorites. And what we want to do before we uh, talk about what is the title of it is uh, we want to mention, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the artist is, uh, can, when digital thing can, can portray the painting that he's done or the picture that he's done in additional setting. Instead of just putting it in a frame-like setting or for you to frame, he can actually show it as if it would be a frayed piece of work, tangible art, on, on a wall, whether it's uh, your house or whether it's a bedroom house. or So there's different, obviously, backgrounds. So we're gonna, we've talked about it, and several of the pictures we have have both, even though we haven't showed both. But now we're going to show a side-by-side. -side. So first we're going to show number, this will be number 16, the actual close-up of the lady. Uh, do we have a, a name or a title on this one? I, I'm not sure. Do we have anything on it? Un Actually, I not titled it, Bob. Okay, no title. But tell us a little bit about yeah, this. Yeah, I'm not given title. But you know which one we're talking about? Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lady and uh, in green, green, red, right? Green, red, and black. Yeah, she's the centerpiece. And then she has all these yeah. floral, uh, not florals, but circles and uh, uh, flourishes of greens, reds, and black. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about this inspiration. It's very nice. Yeah, I, uh, to show the love with nature, I drawn this. The love of nature. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is show the folks the next page. So that's number sixteen, and we'll just call it Lady in Nature, Natural Lady. Okay, just for now. So that's 16. But if you look at 17, you're going to see here's what it looks like when you would actually, and I'm not saying you, but you could also buy it in this mode. Here he has it set up in a, um, I guess you'd call that a living room or a, uh, uh, a den or even an office. It could be in a waiting room or an office. There he's taken the picture and blown it up to large size, which really makes it impressive. And really taken it uh, on a wall that just speaks for itself. So it shows you, and in, and you, of course, these particular walls, the colors couldn't be any better. The whites, the blacks, the grays, and the reds, and the greens. So just a beautiful representation. So once again, you could get this piece either in the previous version, number 16, which is just a magnificent painting of the hey, lady Bob. in nature, or you could get it. Bob, sorry to interrupt, but uh, someone has bought this painting as well, number 16. Uh, 16 uh, or se number 16 or number 17? Number 16. So someone has bought the lady in nature, the close-up of the lady, not the one placed on the wall. Correct. And who might that be? Uh, someone named Luke. Luke, okay. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Luke. I think you, as I said, that was one of my favorites as well, too, so I think you did a, a smart purchase. So we... We've done very good here. Very, very good. So we really appreciate that. Okay, now, I think we have just about one or two more, and then we got to tell them one more time about how to how to buy this, et cetera, how to receive it. And then, of course, we want to say goodbye to our guests. So let's see. We're on number, was, would it be 18? Is that right? Mike? Correct. Uh-huh. Okay, yep. is this number 18? Uh-huh. Okay. Now here, folks, is again, uh, you probably don't remember, but there was an earlier close-up of this painting, which I believe sold, I don't remember to whom, but uh, here, here the artist has done it again in another environment, uh, framed with a beautiful, lovely floral bouquet on the side of it, but in the, and again, a magnificent wall color. So you can see how easy it is to transfer on these into a fantastic painting, within a setting itself, and that whole thing becomes even a, a new painting. 
So you really have one or two versions depending on how you like it. And I think what we have one more mic. Is that it? Will this be number 19? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, is there a name on this one? Well, I don't think so. But I tell you, this is um, renditions of some flowers. Uh, I'm surprised. I know Paula bought that beautiful painting of bluebirds for her mom. But I would have thought she would have. I wasn't thinking she was being so kind. I would have thought because Paula's uh, favorite colors are purples and shades of purples and blues. And these flowers here would just echo her normal uh, uh, preferences in color. So here we have for any, and again, this is more of a female-inspired painting, I would think. But uh, Van, you want to tell us anything about these particular flowers done in magnificent uh, purples and pinks and blues? My, uh, Actually, uh, 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 purple, I showed the nature in purple. That's it. Actually... Uh, everyone sees the nature in uh, green. In green. Uh, I thought of to change it and I shown in purple. Okay. Uh, this one just says color pens and pencils. Uh, art. Because I thought we called the nature in purple was the uh, forest. The uh, snow forest with a purple background. Now, anyway, uh, let's just call these purple flowers for the audience if you don't mind for now, and then we can get a better name. So this is number 19, a beautiful close-up of whichever flower that is, almost the shape of a daisy, but we know daisies don't come in these magnificent colors. But it's, uh, again, a digital world. Then beautiful purples, pinks, and a little bit of blues with a little bit of green on a, a neutral background. So, again, let's go over uh, those situations. What we've looked at today is some of the almost 20 of the artist unique paintings. Now digital art as we said is done on a computer uh, and there's only three ways you can handle it. Most people buy the cell itself. Just like in the old days uh, people would buy the cell of a film from Walt Disney. You know the Mickey Mouse cells. Just a little, little piece of that is worth multi-thousands of dollars today. So this is the future. It's no longer a piece of film cell. It's actually your online cell. It's your digital pick, and you can secure it because, as we mentioned, Van will put a watermark. Well, he will make you a new copy without the watermark, so it'll be unique to you. Don't want that on on the painting, and it will also include a certificate of authenticity saying when it was created and it's the original piece. And then he will put the watermark back on on his online in case anybody else wants it. He would have to create a new one, just like he's done for you. So remember. With the beginning of our merchandising of our art as opposed to showing artists from around the world as well as local, uh, we'll keep this up. Uh, right now, as I mentioned, you have to do two things. One, you can, um, we've still got a few minutes left, you can text Mike if you remember any of the 1 to 19 that you want. If not, or if you haven't seen it, tell your friends. They watch the show after to remember the number and maybe a little description that we've given you. And then to send uh, with a cashier's check or a personal check made out to me, Bob Bockelman, 1830 Jetta, New Orleans 70115, in respective amount. And then we will put the wheels in motion and generate for you either a print on paper that you can get framed if you like or do however you want to display it. And again, uh, it will give you the number. So uh, right now, the first person, if someone had bought number one, they would have one of one. Like several people bought the paintings today, bought prints. Each one of those will be one of one. In the future, if Van sells more, uh, he will notify you that you're now one of 10 or one of 20 if they sell that many of that particular print. But meanwhile, as long as it stays one of one, you've got a unique print on paper for $20. It's almost impossible to comprehend. But if you really want a piece of art, everyone knows there's nothing better than having a tangible piece that's on canvas. So if you can double the amount, if you get that $50, you can get it on stretch canvas and we'll send it to you. All the frames, I mean, all the 
the uh, sizes will be the same. It's a standard 1117. Because we're standardizing all this, that's why the pricing can be standard. Okay? And then lastly, as we said, the unique sale would be $100. And that will be sent to you online by van without a, uh, without a watermark. And you will also have a certificate of authenticity. So uh, we're excited about this. I know it's been a little awkward, as I mentioned in the future. I do have a PayPal account that we will be reactivating. So you can actually buy online and do that right then instead of having to take the extra step. And as we progress, we'll move into some of the other modes of payment. But uh, once again, before we tell Van, we only have a minute left. Van, thank you so much. Anything you want to tell the audience? Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity, Bob. Oh, I, I, I'm so glad we pulled it off. I wish we could have had you live uh, you know, your physics, your beautiful visage, as well as your your voice, but the important thing, you were able to contribute to each piece, and that's what the audience wants to hear from you, the artist, what you did and what inspired you. So thank you very much for being our first out-of-the-states uh, artist, and we'll be, we'll, of course, we'll be in touch with you soon. All right? Okay, folks. Uh, thanks again. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Have a good day, or good evening to you, Van. All right, folks, uh, we're going to let y'all go. Next week will be Know Your Nonprofit. We're bringing uh, Carrie Williams of Metropolitan Youth Foundation back. Unfortunately, you know, I had a medical mishap uh, on these last scheduled visits, so I had to give him that opportunity because he's got a great message to send to you. So look for us next week on Know Your Nonprofit and catch us back for more artist review as, regular, as well as our regular shows. are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. <laughs>